Hello, this is Matt from the CC, and welcome to part two of Learning Visual Basic. In this episode, we'll be covering events. Each object has its own events, so this label will have its own set of events, this button will have its own set of events, and most things here in your toolbox will have its own events. Code is run when an event is triggered, so you know, maybe you have one where if your mouse is hovering over a label, it'll, you know, trigger something, maybe an invisible button will appear or something. You could, you know, maybe even turn that into a game or something. But today we're just going to play around with a few events, see how they work, and then just see what we can do from there. Uh, to start off with, let's go ahead and you want to uh, highlight what you want to uh, affect here, like what your event is going to affect. So we're going to choose the uh, label here by left clicking on it. And uh, well, I'll show you how to get to here first, because you're probably used to uh, your properties being here. You know you have your uh, text in there. Uh, we'll put our event goes here. That's good. All right, so what you're going to want to do is click this thing that looks like a lightning bolt, and it says events when you uh, hover your mouse over it. And you're going to see all these complicated things, resize again, resize and all that stuff. But right now we're just going to mess with mouse hover, mouse enter, all that good stuff. They're very useful. You know, you can see there's just so much stuff you can do here, but these are the most simple things you can start with when learning events. So we'll go ahead and highlight our label again, go down to mouse hover, and just double click on that, and it's going to generate this routine right here. Now we have our button one click from before, and this is assuming you've made this program from the first episode. So if you haven't made this program and, you know, downloaded Visual Basic and all that, you can go back to episode one, which there should be a link below. Uh, and go ahead and check that out and get Visual Basic downloaded and installed. So right now we have this new subroutine here called label1 underscore mouse hover. So whenever the mouse hovers over this label, something is going to happen. So we're going to go ahead and type in label1.text equals the mouse is touching me get it away because obviously labels don't like mice or a mouse now let's just see if this works and there we go the mouse is touching me get it away now we it's just gonna stay like that because we didn't tell it to do anything else so what we're gonna wanna do here is go back make sure you still have label one or whatever highlighted go back down to the uh, mouse options here and mouse leave we're gonna double click on there and it's gonna again generate the new routine here and we're gonna type in uh, label one dot text equals the mouse or what should we go yay the mouse is gone because the label is very happy that the mouse left all right, so let's do this again. The mouse is touching me, get it away. Yay, the mouse is gone. One more time, the mouse is touching me. Get it away, the mouse is gone. And that is how you use an event. That's your first very simple event. Uh, we can go ahead and try some other ones here. Maybe mouse enter. Uh, why don't we try this on buttons too, just to show you some cool things you could do with a button in an event. And then what I want you to do as homework for the video is go ahead and play around with some of these events and in the next episode we'll apply them to uh, something a little more complicated which I have in store for you here. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and do mouse enter the button. So just make sure you have your button highlighted, double click. And so when the uh, mouse enters the button we're gonna do message ba Oops. need to learn how to spell here apparently message box dot show parentheses all that good stuff um what should we say here it's magic i didn't have to click
There we go, close parenthesis, and that T would have bugged me there. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and run the program here. Let's just see if our other event is still working good. Now, if we hover the mouse over the button, it's magic, I didn't even have to click. And just one more time, I didn't even have to click. That is a quick tutorial on events. In the next episode, we'll move on to an actual project now that we're starting to learn the very basics of Visual Basic. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to uh, check out some other cool Computer Clan videos here. And if you haven't, go ahead and watch part one just to learn how to download Visual Basic and make this very basic program. I hope you enjoy the video, and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to stay in touch with more Real Deal videos and click that like button if you liked the video. In addition, get ready for our largest film to date. Coming soon, you do not want to miss this. And if you want to see more content from us or apply for a YouTube partnership, visit us on our other great websites.